So another note in our calling tutorial list here is the train note. And I never realized how influential the train note is when learning other notes. I was just giving a, a guy a lesson on the double cluck three days ago, and he was having trouble separating his two clucks. And so what I said was, try doing a train note. And he didn't know what a train note was, so I taught him instantly. This is how easy the train note is. And I'm sure you've heard it when people are running cadences. Here's what it sounds like in a cadence. That's train note, that high pitched whiny noise. If you hear it just on its own, it doesn't sound super goosey, but when you're running it through a cadence, it helps you sound different. So it's another form of a moan, essentially. It's a really good transition note. So you're, you go like you're gonna blow a moan, right? So you have your, your tongue at the bottom row of your teeth and you are going to start where you normally start your note and you're gonna slowly bring your tongue up to the roof of your mouth, same amount of pressure. So it's gonna start like this. Sounds weird, right? However, when you start your tongue at that point, it sounds like You can hear how it's kind of raspy and you can hear how it's vibrating a lot. This note makes your life so much easier and makes you sound like a lot of geese. So again, in a cadence. You can do some really goosey stuff with this note. And also, it helps you how to do the double cluck as well. So how I taught Ryan how to do the double cluck was you're blowing your first breath of air, but you don't want your tongue to touch. So instead of going like that, you go and he was able to learn the double clock in 10 minutes. This is such a good note for just learning how to do every other note. This is also considered a pressure note because you are using your tongue and your air to force the reed to do something that it doesn't do on its own. Instead of just making your reed go like this, it's going like this and it's waving and it's just kind of vibrating. I don't really know how to explain it. It feels like it's vibrating in my mouth. So start with your tongue where you normally start it in your mouth and just slowly bring it up until you hear this noise. And another point of reference to help you do this is to use the back part of your tongue. I feel like when you use the back part of your tongue, you get that raspier, that goosier noise versus using the front part of your tongue. So again, anchored, slowly bring it up till you find that note where it starts to vibrate and get raspy and then push more air through it. If you really want to do it how the contest callers do it, you just put it a little bit higher so it has a cleaner noise. And more air, of course. So again. Now I know where my tongue is in my mouth. Now I can just start out the note like that. And if you want to add a little bit of rasp, add a little bit of hot air to get that raspiness that I'm getting. And then that will help you kill more geese. That is how you do the train note. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next time.